Bill Nye, the science guy, he has been getting us pumped about the final frontier and all its mysteries for decades. When the James Webb Space Telescope beamed back one of its most haunting images yet, an almost impossibly detailed snapshot of deep space riddled with strange structures, ancient galaxies, and mysterious light distortions, scientists and space enthusiasts worldwide were left in awe. But it wasn't until Bill Nye, the renowned science educator and television personality, finally addressed the image publicly that the event truly reached another level of cultural and scientific significance. His decision to speak out wasn't rooted in sensationalism or media pressure. Rather, it was a reaction to the overwhelming scientific implications that emerged from the Webb Telescope's capabilities. The silence he had maintained until that point wasn't avoidance, it was reflection. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The image in question revealed something more profound than just another beautiful cosmic scene. It unveiled a chaotic patch of the universe that seemed to defy previous models of how galaxies and stellar systems were expected to form and align. Among the scattered points of light, some only a few hundred million years younger than the Big Bang itself, were warped smudges and oddly configured shapes that raised pressing questions about gravity, space-time, and the very structure of the universe. Gravitational lensing was immediately suspected in many parts of the image, but this time, the lensing didn't conform to what physicists predicted. Instead, these distortions hinted at an unseen influence, a suggestion that dark matter might behave differently than current models assume, or that some more exotic phenomena could be at play. Bill Nye, known for his balance between education and enthusiasm, understood that addressing such a discovery would require more than just excitement. It needed context and a careful articulation of its gravity. When he finally addressed the image, he didn't treat it as a revelation for entertainment or public curiosity. He treated it as a scientific milestone. His comments centered around the radical shift the image represented in humanity's perception of its place in the cosmos. The depths of space, once imagined as voids punctuated by stars, were now revealed as teeming, complex, and possibly governed by principles we've yet to comprehend. At the core of the image's unsettling impact was what it implied about time. The James Webb Space Telescope peers so far into the past that it essentially functions as a time machine, observing galaxies as they were billions of years ago. This particular image seemed to collapse our concept of cosmic chronology. Structures appeared more evolved than they should have been at that age in the universe. Some galaxies showed mature formations, spiral arms, bulging cores, and organized rotations at an age when they should still be in the throes of chaotic formation. For astrophysicists, this anomaly was not just surprising. It was deeply disconcerting. The very timeline of the universe's development was now under review. Bill Nye's commentary drew attention to this temporal mystery. He emphasized how it challenges the foundational assumptions of cosmology. If galaxies formed faster than expected, then either the mechanisms of star formation are more efficient than previously modeled, or something entirely new is shaping the early universe. The implications reach far beyond astronomy. They touch on quantum mechanics, relativity, and even philosophical questions about causality and determinism. Nye urged the scientific community to approach this moment with humility, recognizing that science thrives not just in certainty, but in disruption. Perhaps most compelling in the image was a specific quadrant that contained what appeared to be a vast arc of light, curved, glowing, and eerily symmetrical. While it could be a product of gravitational lensing, the arc's shape and consistency pushed the boundaries of what's typically observed in such phenomena. Some astrophysicists hypothesize that it might represent an Einstein ring, an effect caused by the light of a distant galaxy being warped around a massive object precisely aligned with Earth. But this one was far larger and clearer than any previously documented. It gave the illusion of a celestial construct, a cosmic structure so exact in form that it evoked comparisons to artificiality, though no credible evidence supports such theories. Nye remained grounded, resisting the pull of speculative extremes. However, he did acknowledge how such patterns, while likely natural, test the limits of human intuition. The universe, he pointed out, doesn't owe us familiarity. The arc might be a perfectly natural byproduct of cosmic geometry, yet its visual impact resonates on a deeper psychological level. It makes observers question not just what they're seeing, but what they know. Another remarkable feature within the image was a cluster of red compact dots, galaxies so distant their light had shifted to the infrared. 
these galaxies appeared to be packed unnaturally close, suggesting an epoch when the fabric of space itself was more condensed, or perhaps when the laws governing expansion were slightly different. Scientists began wondering whether the expansion of the universe, as described by the standard Lambda CDM model, is as smooth and uniform as once believed. If variations exist, they could point to new physics, perhaps modifications to the cosmological constant, or even evidence of interactions between dark energy and matter in the early universe. This was the dimension of the discovery that seemed to energize Nye the most. He spoke with urgency about the need to refine our models and reframe the questions guiding our exploration. For decades, cosmology operated within a comfortable framework, one built on well-supported ideas such as the Big Bang, inflation, and a dark energy-driven expansion. But the web image cracked open that comfort. It exposed a dynamic, unruly, and possibly stranger-than-expected universe. The challenge now was to accept that some of our models may be incomplete, not incorrect, but lacking in layers that this new data could help construct. Nye stressed how this moment isn't merely about correcting errors in textbooks, it's about expanding the very lens through which humanity views existence. The image confronts us with a scale of complexity that echoes philosophical and existential themes. If structures in the universe matured faster, or gravity behaved differently, or light itself was more malleable in ancient epics, then the universe may be governed by principles that are not just unknown, but unknowable under current methodologies. This doesn't signal defeat. For scientists like Nye, it's the spark of a new era. The boundaries of what's considered knowable are being pushed outward. Beyond the scientific implications, Nye also considered the psychological and cultural significance of the image. In the past, when telescopes improved and brought clearer views of the sky, the result was often a recentering of human understanding. Galileo's telescope disrupted religious dogma. Hubble's images expanded the scope of cosmic scale. The James Webb Telescope's latest contribution feels like the next leap, not just in scale, but in complexity. The image doesn't just show more, it shows different. It suggests that the universe doesn't simply go on forever. It might operate in realms we haven't even imagined yet. This complexity fuels speculation naturally. Some fringe theorists began discussing the possibility of cosmic engineering, drawing parallels between the strange arc and hypothetical megastructures. While mainstream scientists, including Nye, remain cautious and focused on natural explanations, the cultural dialogue around such images is inevitable. The sense of wonder they provoke isn't just scientific, it's deeply human. For every calculation done by an astrophysicist, there's a child staring at the image asking whether someone or something else might be out there, shaping what we see. Nye's response balanced these threads with finesse. He didn't dismiss wonder, but he redirected it toward inquiry. What matters, he argued, is that this image serves as an invitation. An invitation to study, to doubt, to imagine, and to recalibrate our tools, both intellectual and instrumental. Webb, with its deep infrared vision, is not just a telescope, it's a shift in perception. It allows humanity to look at the early universe with new eyes, unclouded by Earth's atmosphere or technological limitation. Another element Nye underscored was the collaborative human achievement behind the telescope itself. Built over decades with input from NASA, ESA, and CSA, the James Webb Space Telescope represents the pinnacle of engineering and international cooperation. The image it returned is a triumph of thousands of minds working in synchrony. That in itself, Nye noted, is cause for awe. In peering deeper into the past, humanity has also demonstrated a vision for the future, one where global collaboration yields knowledge that no single nation or individual could achieve alone. What makes this moment so potent is that it exists on the edge of what science currently understands. The web image hasn't broken the laws of physics, but it has illuminated their boundaries. Nye emphasized that this is what scientific revolutions look like, not in the sudden collapse of old paradigms, but in the slow erosion of their certainty, followed by the careful construction of something newer, deeper, and more inclusive of the anomalies. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Bill Nye breaking silence? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.